We're speaking at you know, a really critical juncture here in terms of USAID reform and, and leadership. We've been reflecting at DevEx on where this agency is going, what the future can and should look like, uh, what a transformed USAID would look like, what a localized USAID would look like, and you've got a lot of big ideas about that. So maybe just to begin, where do you see things landing as we look at sort of the end of the Raj Shah era? I do think we have a transformed agency, but there's still a long way to go. And I don't think it can just happen because you have one incredibly charismatic and well, um, well-meaning, well-informed, um, and, and capable person at the head. Raj was all those things, but having, you know, that in itself is not enough. We need to have a broader consensus for reform because one person can only push the agency so far. You have Congress that isn't signed off on all these reforms. You have the State Department and Treasury and the White House, which may not be willing to go that far. And you have an in internal bureaucracy that may not be completely you know, with the program on all these changes. And so, you know, maybe now is a good time for reflection and taking a breath and taking a look at what needs to happen, but also consolidating and institutionalizing the, the, the visions and the reforms that have already been proposed. Right. And certainly one of the criticisms we hear um, pertains to, to Shah's inability to sort of differentiate between his own capacity to move quickly and the capacity of the bureaucracy behind him to follow. Um, do you think that any damage was done to the idea of change? I mean, you could certainly imagine um, some backlash against you know, moving too quickly or at least giving the perception of moving too quickly. Well, I think you always have to keep in mind that things are the way they are for a reason. It's not random, it's not by chance. Things are the way they are because there are vested interests in keeping it that way. That's not to say you can't change it, but you do need to recognize that it takes a while and it takes a lot of convincing and simply announcing it or saying it doesn't make it happen. And I'm not suggesting that that's all that Raj did. But I, I do think that the implementation phase is incredibly important and difficult and a lot of attention is going to need to be paid to institutionalizing these changes. You know, looking back on, on Shah's legacy, uh, one of the things that people consistently took him to task for was not sort of uh, collaboratively approaching the transformation that needed to happen. In other words, you know, they announced the 30% localization target. A lot of people were taken aback by that. Um, it was viewed as unnecessarily antagonistic. Could this process happen differently? I'm not sure you're ever going to get to consensus, but you can get inclusion and participation in figuring out what would be um, a meaningful and reasonable transition system. Um, I think the 30% was misunderstood. It was probably not present. I mean, Raj Shah himself, I think, acknowledged that it wasn't put out there in the, in the most positive manner. Right, and, and the agency has since sort of backtracked on exactly what it means, and we've seen a little bit of a, a wavering there. But. I think a lot of it was perceived um, by our partners as, or by USAID's partners, as an attack on them. Right. And that he was, you know, painting all of them with a, a, a brush of, they've done bad things, they're, they're not helping, whatever, and, and they, they were very hurt by it. They, you know, they perceived it as an attack on their integrity. And I, I don't view it that way. It's not an attack on anyone's integrity. I think contractors and grantees are doing a great job and doing the best they can under the circumstances of a system that is incredibly arcane and micromanaging right. and difficult you know, to navigate. Right, and in fact, they're doing what they've been asked and paid to do. Exactly. <laughs> they are doing what they've been asked to do. And it's time for us to think a little differently about what we're asking.